Hello once again, this is John Mark Gordon. I'm here to present to you my plan of changing Edie's, Edie's eyes for this doll's, old doll's eyes. I found this from the Thrift Mart or the Goodwill or, you know, like uh, for the ones in the Philippines, Ukai Ukai. Uh, so these were like 200 pesos or about $4. And um, see... Because I'm kind of bothered by uh, Iti's eyes. They're not big enough. So I could kind of make the thing a little bit bigger. And then use these eyes to put it here. And then what will I do with this uh, poor old doll? She's so cute. I'm going to make her into a Halloween doll. You know, put some white thing in and make her really scary. And you'll see that in the rest of the video. Stage one. Open it up. Oh, so they're not full circles that's the back of the eye and that's the thing okay oh poor baby so this is how you do it if you uh, get a chance you actually just pull them up push this out push the, the eyes out like that all right as for et i have to remove this i think or maybe yeah i have to remove this so i could uh can I push his eyes out? I'm not sure. We'll see. I have to uh, open it up. Or do I open him up over here and I just glue it back? Glue him back? I don't know. I don't want to destroy this. Uh, E.T. It's vintage. Since um, <clears throat> that's the fog from the steam from the hot water. Since the plastic of the E.T. is really kind of hard. I have to do this like this. To soften the plastic so that I could push out his eyes. It's the same um, design like the doll a while ago. But the doll's plastic is a little bit softer. But E.T.'s plastic is a little bit uh, tougher. So I'm going to try to make uh, the at least the outer eyes or the eyelids a little bit softer by... Uh, um, submerging uh, the E.T. Uh, in hot water so that the plastic is going to get a little bit softer. Let's see. Now it's soft. Now it's difficult to do it on camera. See, now the ice can pop easily. Ta-da! Uh, Ta-da! Now... I won't be able to insert the eyes uh, easily because the eyes are a bit bigger. So what I'll do, I will have to, uh, uh, I, I will have to drill or like you know like sand it a little bit using the the drill that I have uh, to make it a little bit bigger so that the eyes will fit. So now what I did was drill out the eye so eye sockets. And then I am going to put uh, the, uh, if I can, there you go, the eyeballs or uh, half of the eyeballs because they're not really full circular eyeballs there. Can you see that? Of course, I'm going to try to uh, see. It's better, right? And then I have to glue it using this glue because uh, it has uh, that rubbery consistency after it dries. Oh, before, before I forget to tell you, I also had to sand it a little bit like this. See the sandpaper to smoothen out whatever plastic remnants that are in there. See, actually... When I was drilling or you know sanding it using this, I kind of mess up this part. I just have I can just uh, repaint that. Here is the finished product. Tada! Et with better looking eyes, bigger eyes compared to before. Before, after, before, uh oh, after, right? So he's, he's a lot better. 
Too bad I don't have another one of these uh, ET boxing ET to compare it to like like actual. So I had to take a picture of the before and the after. All right, and of course, in maybe in the future, I'll have I'll learn how to sew, how to uh, change this uh, gown or robe. Once again, please subscribe. And then click on that bell icon uh, so that you'll be notified for next uh, for the next uh, uploads. And also um, like the video so that I will know that uh, you're watching uh, my videos as well as uh, uh, at least I get I get encouraged to do crazy stuff. As you can see, the glue is still uh, drying here. Uh, I, I tried to glue it together, put it back together. And, uh, but that's it. Thank you once again. This is John Mark Gordon. Have a good day.